If you're tired of recreating the same types of edits across all your video projects, this is the shortcut you didn't know you needed. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through two editing features that are gonna save you time, improve your consistency across videos, and make your videos look way more polished. We're gonna cover presets and favorites. And for the purposes of the video, we're gonna use CapCut Desktop because it's beginner-friendly and free, but all of these principles apply to pretty much every major video editing software out there, so you can apply these tips no matter what you're using. Time-saving tip number one, Let's talk presets. So think of a preset like a template that you can create within your project. Once you've built something in your project, an asset, for example, you can save it and then you can reuse it later on in that project or in future projects without having to recreate it from scratch. Okay, so let's start with something simple like stylized text. Now, if you use text in your videos and you wanna use the same fonts, the same size, color, animations, you can save that exact look and apply it to new text with one click. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to make this a little bit larger and we're gonna start from scratch. So we're gonna pull in some default text and we're gonna make this, we're gonna actually drag this down to the bottom left here. We're gonna reposition it. And imagine for a moment, we're making a tutorial on how to clean up your Macintosh desktop. So we're just gonna do pro tip number one, right click, clean up. So ignore this, but this is just a demo tip that someone might be sharing. And what we're gonna do is resize it. We will change the font. Let's go with this one. Um, we're going to use one of these preset styles right here. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. And we're going to add an animation. We'll do a typewriter. For our out animation, we will do a zoom out. And now you can kind of see what it looks like, right? It'll animate in and then it'll fade out. And we also want to add in an audio effect. We want to add in the typewriter sound. So let's add that in right here. We'll make it a little bit quieter and then we'll shorten it up so that it's we only hear it when the animation is happening. So here's just a really simple, quick and dirty example. Let's play it back. All right, so you've seen the whole thing. Now imagine for a moment that you love this and you wanna repurpose this later in the video and you also wanna use it in future video projects. So all you need to do is highlight both of the clips and right click and do save preset. And then when you come over to media on the top left, there'll be a section for yours. When you click on that, you can click on my presets and you'll see all of the presets that you've saved so far. So this last one right here is the one that we just made from scratch. So if I were to reuse this in a video, all I would do is just drag it in, right? And let's pretend like we have three tips in this video that we're giving. So the first tip is right over here. This could effectively be our second tip and this could be our third tip. Now, all we need to do to change the text is you can right click, undo compound clip and you'll see both the audio and the text boxes are right here. You can click on this one, you can change this to pro tip number two, and then you can type in whatever that second pro tip is. So like if you love the idea of consistency across all your videos, you can come up with whatever format or whatever stylized text you want, save it as that preset and then reuse it indefinitely. So now that you've seen how simple it is to make one, let's look at a few other use cases or examples of things that you can use in your videos. So I have a few presets already saved in here to use as an example. So let's look at this title screen example and let me undo the compound clip so you can see what is involved. It's essentially a black background with two text box and some audio associated with it. So here's what it looks like. So the way you can use something like this is just say you have a video and you're gonna be talking about three different sections within the video. You can use a title screen as a way of breaking up the video visually and letting your viewer know whatever topic the next section is gonna consist of. So this is a title screen. I use this all the time. You can see there's an the animation coming in from the left. You'll see the text has their own animation. There's audio, uh, like kind of whoosh noises you can hear. And then there's the animating out as well. And again, all you need to do is right click, do undo compound clip. And then from here, you can simply change the text. Now, the next example is another stylized text. It's a lower third. So here's what it looks like. I'll just play it back. So you can see it animates in, there's some black gradient, and then over top of it is some lower third text. Of course, you can change that to whatever you want. This is great for illuminating a certain point that you might be talking through. And then you'll see the out animation as well. When you undo this compound clip, it's really just the black background and the lower third text that has its own animation. So this is a very simple one, but this is something that, again, you can use across multiple videos to create that consistency, that brand awareness. Another variation on this is to use different effects and filters. So let me show you what I mean. In this particular example, we're gonna undo this compound clip 
And you can see there are three different filters in here. Now I'm not suggesting that you should use this exact configuration. This really doesn't make sense, but I just wanted to show you this as an example of what's possible. So the first thing you'll notice is that this photo frame effect pops up, right? You see the white border and I'm kind of cropped in. Now the next thing you'll notice is there's two filters. There's a warm and a quality filter. You should be able to see that the image becomes a little warmer in tone. So you see the color, the colors change quite a bit. It's now a bit warmer. And then as I transition to quality, it gets a little bit cooler again. So if you have footage that you wanna treat a certain way with a color or an effect, you can save those as a preset as well. And that way you can quickly and easily bring them into your project without having to recreate them every single time. Now, the final example here is a little more complex. This is a mid-roll CTA. It's actually a video clip that I had broken down to sort of advertise my free guide. This is to get folks to sign up on my newsletter. You can see here as I play through it, it animates in from the top. It scrolls, it's basically um, images from my website that has a check the link below message and a sound effect and then an animate out. So this is something that I would play maybe a third of the way through my video to hopefully get people to sign up on my newsletter with a free giveaway. And this also is a compound clip and I've saved it as a preset. So when I undo it, you can see all of the different elements involved, right? There's multiple text boxes, there's the white background, there's some motion with the text, there's a lot of keyframing involved, and then there's even some audio here at the bottom. So while this one's a little more advanced, the purpose here is just to show you what's possible with a preset. Okay, so presets are great from when you build something in a project that you wanna reuse later on, but what about just faster access to all of the commonly used tools, effects, and sounds that you use all the time? That's where time-saving tip number two comes in, favorites. And honestly, these are some of the simplest yet overlooked time-saving features that you can start using right now. Oh, and by the way, if all of this editing stuff feels just like a complete lonely grind, or if you're not even sure where to get started. That's exactly why I created my free school community. It's a place for newer creators to get together, to collaborate, share wins, ask questions, and yes, even get support on editing. So if that's interesting to you, click the link in the description below. Okay, so back to favorites. Here's a quick list of what you can save as a favorite in CapCut. So the first thing is audio. For me, I use a lot of the same audio effects, sound effects in my videos. And what I've done is I've gone through and I've looked at all of the different categories that CapCut has. And if there's something that I really like, I click the little star icon next to it. And when you click the star, it will add them to your favorites. And this is gonna be the case across all things in CapCut. If it has a star like this, it means you can save it as a favorite. Now to access your favorites, while you're under each respective section, in this case, I'm under audio, you click on yours and you click on favorites, and you'll notice I don't really have anything music, I don't have any tracks saved, but I do have quite a bit sound effects saved because I use these all of the time in my videos. And this is a really simple and quick way to get to all of the commonly used audio effects that I use on my videos. Another thing that I commonly use are transitions in my videos. So when I go from clip to clip, I will use some sort of visual transition. One thing you can do is come into transitions, go to any of these categories. If you see something you like, you can hit the star and then that will show up here under favorites as well. So you probably noticed I do a lot of these drops. I probably do a lot of these comparison ones, glare, things of that nature. Finally, as I mentioned earlier, there are filters as well. So if there's a lot of filters that you use to either add some more visual uh, dynamic elements to your video or to adjust the color settings, you can use these filters and save those as well. Same thing with effects, stickers, and even some of the default text effects, which I don't use at all, but if you do, you can certainly save these as a favorite as well. So the next time you need it, just head over to the favorites tab for any one category that you need a favorite for and you'll be good to go. This is one of those small habits that when you start to dial it in and actually use it, especially if you're editing every single week or you're using a lot of the same elements from video to video, this is going to help you save so much time and get your edits done so much more quickly. All right, now that you've got a faster workflow with both presets and favorites, there's a few more video editing techniques for you to learn that'll take your videos from pretty good to damn that's smooth. So if you're ready to level up your edits with simple, powerful moves that most beginners miss, go ahead and check out the video right over here. It is my five cap cut video editing tips to make your videos look instantly more polished and professional.